calm hand at the wheel. Stormers fly half Mani Lebok is part of the team who proudly upended all expectations to win the first United Rugby Championship. Now having a break with his girlfriend Verna Lee Aris while rehabbing his shoulder, he's enjoying his first free time in a while. My name is Mani Lebok and I'm a professional rugby player and um, yeah, I'm playing for the Stormers. As a child, growing up, playing in the streets of Imansdorp, um, I always wanted to be a professional rugby player. And obviously after that, to my, my, my biggest goal is to play for the box, actually. And since then, I dreamed to be a springbok. To be honest, I don't think uh, moms out there, parents out there think rugby is, is a safe sport, but um, it is a safe sport. Um, it's like to play. And, and that's the beauty of, of, of rugby is, is the fact that it helps you to create new friendships and take you around the world to places where you never thought you were ever going to be. Especially when his early career progressed slowly, but Marnie was playing the long game. At school, I played it for, for, for fun because you love it. And um, because of that, I fall in love with the game. And I tell my parents or oh, my mom, I, I want to play rugby. When I, when I finish school, that's what I want to do. I don't want to go, go sit in the office or uh, do um, other work. I just loving, loving rugby and loving playing, playing rugby. The recent Stormers URC semi-final against Ulster was neck and neck until Mr. Laboc slotted a drop goal. It was an amazing feeling, um, personally for me, because obviously in my early in my career I have some ups and downs. Taking that drop goal in the, in the final, the up the team, stress the lead, and, and, and put ourselves even more in favour to win the game was yeah was an amazing feeling. And um, yeah, and that's all I wanted to do all my life. And for me, coming here to the Stormers, that was my goal to make an impact, brings happiness to me, and just so that I reach that goal that I, that I set for me when when I chose to come here. Yeah. From his late grandmother, Liana Leboc, to his mother, also Liana Leboc, and now Verna Lee, the champ has always had support. We met in school, in high school. So um, I was in Otenikwa High School, and then he came in grade 11. We were in the same business class, and that's where we met. He was very shy and quiet, so um, I'm very bubbly, so I was the first one talking to him. Yeah. So, yeah. She caught my eye from the word go. Um, to be honest, um, I just wanted to be um, close to her. That's why I, 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 you I got wanted, close. Actually. Yeah, I got closer to her. But and I wanted told to be, him yeah. to come sit behind me. Yeah. <laughs> the man can kick, pass, tackle, and make plays, but on wheels, not so much. Verna Lee is just happy they share a love of the same fun things. I think we have a lot in common. Like sport, for instance, is the biggest thing, I think. Um, I did athletics, you also did athletics in school, and I also played netball, I did a bit of dancing, so. We both are very calm, we don't like a lot of, too much people, anything like that. So I feel like that's also something we have in common. We love to go um, uh, watch movies. Like and eat. Go, go eat out, yeah, she likes to I eat, so. I love eating. So um, we, we go eat out like <laughs> most of the time. Most of the time. But yeah, yeah that, that was the stuff we do. We like animals, watching yeah. lions or anything like that. Yeah, yeah go look. A wildlife. Yes, 100%. Being a girlfriend um, of a Stormers rugby player, it's, it's quite normal to me since I love my normal life. But obviously, they are in the limelight, so um, you have to get used to a lot of stuff, especially the media. So it's very stressful and all that. It has its perks, but I feel like it's more stressful. So, but the normal life it's better to me. But I am the girl. And I'm also normal. So <laughs> we like being normal. Yeah. So yeah. Yo, that was so much fun. I don't know about Mani, but he looked really funny. <laughs> yeah, but it was so. I was scared. I was scared. Really, I was really scared. <laughs> but I enjoyed but, it. Yeah, it was a nice experience. Obviously, you have to do it often to <laughs> get better. I would definitely choose rugby boots, eh? <laughs> definitely. That's my yeah. comfort zone. Please, my comfort keep it by the rugby boots. Yeah. <laughs> Marnie's earned the love of Cape Town, so Tinashe Kadungure was honoured to be his skipper. For the guests, I would say, like, all of the best. Fortunately for today, the sky is blue, no sailing for us today. We'll be using motors. She's a catamaran, sailing catamaran, basically. 
So motoring all the way up to Bentley Bay, dolphins, it's a 50-50 situation. Seals, plenty, penguins, Western Cape, home of penguins, so yeah. In the cauldron of professional sport, this pro believes in protecting his peace. And here was a fine way to do it. I've never been on a sunset cruise before. But I've been on a normal cruise, but not sunset. It's actually amazing. Yeah, it's, um, it's very special because obviously with my budget schedule, playing rugby, a guy like me needs experiences like this just to calm the mind down. Um, yeah, just took my mind away from rugby and um, spend some time with, with, with Van der Lee. It's, it's always special. And um, yeah, it's beautiful scenes, beautiful um, views. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful. Yeah, um, Adiba is, uh, is, is an icon. Eh? Um, what he does to our to our um, country is just amazing. He was the first the first uh, person that that, that that stand by the thing that, that sport can bring um, South Africans together, um, and and and, and that's special. Um, and for me, it's 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 awesome to be to be a uh, South South African. Such a such a lovely country, such a beautiful country. So uh, it's yeah, it's it's nice to be a South African. It's nice to stay in stay in this country. I feel like it was more romantic on the first few dates. <laughs> yeah, so um, he invited me to like a strawberry farm. We were still young though, um, and we had to do a maze. So then you go through um, stuff like you know, the strawberry farm, and they tell young cards what to do. But now it's like we plan it together. I like eating, so. He knows that <laughs> that's the part of my heart. Yeah. So you can just take me to a restaurant, then we'll be fine. <laughs> Since former All Blacks and Bulls coach John Mitchell gave this fly half his chance, Werner Lee has seen him fly. I'm very proud of him. He's, he's a real hard worker on and off the field. And even when he gets time off and he comes visit me, there's always training in his head. It's rugby all over. It really, he loves the game. He loves evolving in the game. And he's a real hard worker. I told myself I always wanted to become a, a, a Springbok one day, and um, yeah, and that dream is still alive. Yeah, the, the, the Springboks inspire me, because since little boy, when I started playing rugby, um, I fell in love with the game, and that's all I wanted to do, to play for the Springboks. For me, to put that jersey on one day is going to mean the world for me, because it's such great history. I just feel like I, I also want to be part of that legacy and just to, to put a judge over my head is going to mean the world to me. May that dream come true for him. Until then, making the most of his diploma in coaching science, Marnie is looking to bring future undiscovered talent into the fold. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.